<sighs> Sorry, I had to take the wrapper off of this. They don't they don't pay me to drink their water. <laughs> but <sighs> ASMR. What is good YouTube? It is your boy Orlando X the Great back in action, but not with a reaction. No, y'all today. We got that Q&A. Now, I asked y'all to ask me questions. I posted it on my Twitter, my Instagram, and on here on YouTube. If you didn't see it, then you don't follow me on Twitter, which you should do that. The link's down in the description box below. Same goes as Instagram. Honestly, y'all should already be following me on those platforms, but it's cool. I understand. You know, you guys got your own, your own motive. But if you guys didn't get the notification on here, there's no excuse for that. Y'all need to ring that bell so y'all can get notified for all my posts. That's community, video, live stream, all that. Okay, cause y'all y'all might miss some stuff. Like how y'all miss this. So yeah, go ahead and do all that. And I only got like one question on Twitter, so we're just gonna knock that question out the way first, okay? So the first question is from D underscore Rose 69. He asked, would you branch your channel off into more things such as workout videos or speeches that you have, or are those strictly for social media platforms? Um I don't know if I would branch the channel completely off to do workout videos and speeches, but I, if I were to vlog and I work out that day, I would put that workout into a video. And as far as speeches go, I've thought about working some of those into the end of videos. So those will possibly see the light of day on YouTube. Just don't know exactly when yet. Um, but yeah, so you guys might get to see those pretty soon. Or you guys can follow me on Instagram and Twitter and see them now. But I mean, your choice, your choice. I don't want to tell you what to do with your social media. I'm just saying, <laughs> you follow me on here. You might as well follow me on there too. You know, you might as well hit Twitch down below too. And also join the Discord. You know what I'm saying? Just saying, just saying. All right, now time to get to Instagram questions that y'all could have asked me on, but y'all you know, don't want to follow me on Instagram. It's cool though, I'm not tripping. Um, the first one's from Brody the Lion Hearted. Is it possible that you'll do a vlog sometime in the future? Yes, I had some plan, but Corona kind of messed that whole thing up. So, but most definitely expect vlogs to be coming. I've done a couple. What's from Sanity for Lauren? I, she asked me a few questions. What's up, girl? We used to work at Target together. That's my, <clears throat> that's my homie. Uh, what's something you wish to accomplish soon? Something I wish to accomplish soon is getting a setup for my room. Basically, getting my room set up. That's something I want to accomplish and also reaching 100,000 subs. Pancakes or waffles? It depends on who's making them, but 9 times out of 10, I might go with the waffles because I like to play with them. Uh, What's something you would like to be better at? YouTube. I'd like to be more consistent and better with my editing and just more comfortable in front of the camera. Um, and self-discipline. Best compliment you've ever received? Um, You are perfect just the way you are. Uh, it was a compliment that came to me when I was lost trying to figure out who I was and trying to be somebody that I wasn't because I felt like a lot of people didn't like what I liked and um, that compliment couldn't have came at a better time and it helped me grow into the person I am today love that compliment um, last anime you watched the last anime I watched like finished was probably the rising shield hero but physically watched was Castlevania and uh, what would I recommend everyone uh, I recommend you guys watch the rising of shield hero and Castlevania actually and uh, Kill I Kill, which is right behind me. Bro, from uh, V Zinks. Bro, you got to stream Resident Evil 7. Man, if I had the game, I would stream it. Uh, depending on the price, I might buy that to stream it. If you guys want to see that, just leave a comment down below. A question from N, N McNoy, McCoy. Uh, two pills. One makes you five years older with $10 million. One gets you 4K a week for life. Which one and why? I'm going with 4K a week easily because um, time is the most valuable thing to me. It's the only thing in life that I feel you cannot get back. And if five years were just to be taken from me or just like basically, yeah, basically taken from me for $10 million, which I could get that $10 million um, with the 4K a week living throughout those five years and experiencing those five years and being able to do YouTube. So I'm going to take the 4K a week. I am Ontario. What's good? Uh, become a gamer and not and and a YouTuber. YouTuber. Why not have multiple streams? Um, I have no problem being a gamer. I started off gaming, uh, streaming on YouTube. I plan on streaming on Twitch. Just uh, trying to get a few things set up and learn the platform a little bit more. And I also still stream on here. Um, so 
I still do both of those. Why you looking like that in that pic, bro? <laughs> oh, bro, I, I was serious, bro. I needed questions. I needed people to ask me. You feel what I'm saying? This is what the picture look like if y'all don't follow me on Instagram. Y'all should follow me on Instagram. It's right here. Go ahead and do that. Link in the description down below. <clears throat> DBZ Kakarot gameplay. Honestly, I'm doing that game for a giveaway. I just haven't figured out what's happening with it. But uh, I do not own the game myself. Um, I'm still debating on it if I want to buy it. Because it's like certain games that I actually play. So, And I don't know if I would put the time into that. Uh, that was from Miles the Goat one. He has another question. Top 10 most simpiest anime characters of all time. Wow, of all time. Dude, that's going to be a hard one. I think I'm going to have to make a separate video on that. But I can throw one out to you right now. And I'm going to put Bam from the Tower of God. He's such a simp. Um, My Hero Academia theories, I have two. Uh, Dobby is Endeavor's son. I believe that they got into something that caused him to get real injured. And plus, he cannot control his firepower. So he possibly did those scars to himself. And my second one is uh, Deku is somehow related to someone who originated one for all and all for one. Um, still waiting on that cooking with Lando. YouTube ain't ready for that cooking with Lando. I might do that for a live stream, though, possibly. Um, yeah. All right. Those are all the Instagram questions. Now time to hop over to the YouTube community. <clears throat> yeah, I, you know. Yeah, I've never done a Q&A before. That's the whole reason why I decided to do this video. I'm actually, it's actually pretty fun answering your guys' questions, though, for real. Uh, let's see. We got 16 questions over here. We got 30 likes and only 16 questions. What are y'all liking, but y'all answering? Y'all got no questions for me? Uh, from Caleb. Yo, what's up, Caleb? My boy from Toys R Us, man. Also another anime fan, bro. How have you been? Uh, favorite memory from when you worked at Toys R Us? Also, how have you been? <laughs> how have you been? I've been pretty good. I cannot complain, you know, in the house chilling, making videos. Favorite memory from Toys R Us? I don't know if I have a favorite, but I have a lot. Like, riding the dirt bike around. I did an ollie and broke a skateboard. Um... <clears throat> I used to make videos in there and play around all the time. Yeah, jumped in a pile of boxes, climbed on the stuff in the back. Ah, oh, there's a lot of memories. I don't know if I have a favorite though. I kind of I miss it a lot, bro. How have you been though? Um, next one is from Aldo Maldonado. Mald, yep, there it is. What was your reaction when you started to blow up, and what did you think made that happen? Also, I have been here since 500 when you played Injustice 2. Love the content. Keep it up. Bro, whew, what's that? That's like, what, years? Like two, three years ago? Dude, that's fucking amazing. I love it. For some of you guys who don't know, I play, I streamed Injustice 2 a lot back in the day. Uh, so where I really got my start and where I really started going. Um, My reaction when the channel started to grow the way it did, I was like, it, it made me excited. I was like, just to see the growth and how it was happening so fast. I loved it. It was, it was amazing. It felt ecstatic. And I believe it happened with the Dragon Ball Super reactions. I think that's what really uh, lifted it up and started giving it this boost. I don't feel like I've blown up yet, though. I feel like that time is still to come. Uh, Kage Carmona. Have you always had such wise wisdom, or did it come slowly through watching anime? <laughs> um, I, I'm not the wisest person, but I can see where that can come from. Um... I feel like wisdom is something that has to be acquired from experiences. So I'm going to say it slowly came through watching anime and also like just things that I've witnessed in life and things that happened to me. And I just try to share um, those scenarios and possibilities for other people and what they should do. Uh, when you going to drop merch? I actually had some merch planned. I think I talked about in the video with my uh, Matui and uh, Attack on Titan crossover. But yeah, this is one of the designs that I was planning on. This was done by Sukasa. He's an amazing artist. I'm going to link his uh, his page down in the description below. And I need y'all to go to his Instagram and spam his post with likes and comments again. And tell him that Orlando sent you, okay? Um, he's, working on the, he's working on another design for us. So when he gets that design done, I'm going to drop those two together. Um, and I'm also looking for another site to use because the other one was kind of expensive. I think that hoodie was like $60. And then I got another artist working on some other designs for me. So the merch is coming. It should be done and released in 2020 this year. Um, Finest FGC said, give me your top five dream anime fights. Characters can be from any anime and hope you and the family staying safe and healthy, bro. We are staying safe and healthy the best we can in this house. Um, I hope you are also doing the same i hope your family's doing great um top five dream anime fights wow uh one of them i can say off the back right now is matui versus akami from akami got kill i want those two to fight um and i want sasuke to fight uh her sister fucking uh fuck i always forget her name 
Karome. Karome. I don't know how to pronounce it, Karome. And then another fight I want to see is I want to see Soul and Maka. Uh, <coughs> I want to see Soul and Maka fight King Kaneki. I don't know why, but I just feel like that would be an interesting fight. And another one I want to see, I still want to see a Madara versus Aizen fight. I feel like that would be a really good fight. I don't know who would come on top of that. And uh, my whole thing about cross anime fighting is I don't know how the, like, um, how it would balance out, like, how they would, like, even out the powers and stuff like that. And another fight that I always wanted to see that I feel like I never got to see was I wanted to see, uh, I wanted to see Shis, I want to see Shisui fight Minato. That is a fight that I want to see for sure. Um, yeah. And then, uh, Ace fight, uh, Natsu from Fairy Tail. Those are some I can think of right now. Uh, from Kristen McGarry, favorite anime beatdown. Ooh, favorite anime beatdown would have to be, uh, <sighs> fuck. I don't know. That's a hard one. Um, I probably Madara versus the Shinobi Army. That shit was crazy. What's your top three anime right now that you're watching? Top three that I'm watching right now, currently, uh, Hunter, uh, Hunter, Hunter, Castlevania, and, uh, Glypher and Tower of God are too early to call. So, um, I'm gonna throw Mob Psycho in there. Yeah, Mob Psycho. Uh, my favorite anime opening, uh, this is from Chicken Strips. Uh, the last one was from Anime Kazukage. Uh, favorite anime opening. Wow. Like, opening as, like, all together. Dude, Silhouetted from, uh, Naruto is gonna be one of my biggest ones. I love the Kill la Kill opening. Uh, the opening two. I fucking love, uh, I love the Tokyo Ghoul Unravel. It's such a classic, but, oh, fuck. Come on, what would it be? Um, you know, it's weird. One of my favorite anime openings is an anime open. Uh, is an anime I haven't even seen yet. It's No Game, No Life. I love that opening. It's beautiful, and I'm gonna go with that one. Because I have too many other good ones to choose. What was your favorite game to play on the channel? From Kyle Johnson. My favorite game to play. Mm, I want to say Injustice 2. But I had so much playing Resident Evil 2. And Resident Evil 3 with you guys. So I'm going to throw Resident Evil 3 in there. And Resident Evil 2. Sage Mode Aaron said. What's your favorite anime? My favorite anime is Kill I Kill. I love it. And I recommend that to everyone. Everyone should watch it. Studio Trigger did a wonderful job on that. And so did. Um, uh, fuck. I always forget his name. But the, the great anime. Um. Uh, Camarius Antonio Temple, are you still in school? Yes, I am. Sadly, I want to drop out. Sucks. Chronic Kid, why y'all so funny? Man, I couldn't even tell you. We just, I don't know. We just being ourselves on this channel. Um, Dead Magnum, you got a gaming PC? No, I do not, but I want one, and I'm in the works of saving up to get one. Anime Kazakage again, and are you caught up on Black Clover? If you are, what are your thoughts? I'm not all the way caught up, but so far, it's been a great uh, anime. Uh, it's starting to grow on me. I'm not going to lie. I'm enjoying it. Chronic Kids said, how old are you? I am 22. Yes, I'm old. Kind of. No, I'm kind of. I'm still young. Um, last but not least from I am DeAndre. Why did you become a YouTuber and how did you pick your YouTuber name? Wow. <clears throat> um, I became a YouTuber because I always wanted to be an actor. Uh, yeah, start off as wanting to be an actor. Got into video production. Learned how to make videos and learn how to edit videos. And then YouTube was the way that I could do that freely, the way I wanted to do it. And I seen that people, um, it was a way for me to do it. And uh, as a kid growing up, I went to a school. Uh, I went to Willow Run. And my brother knew this guy named Corey that also went there. And he uh, did YouTube and stuff. And I was just a kid. And I was like, oh, he does YouTube. And I looked him up one day. And then I seen this video, of, uh, this Xbox skit video. And it was uh, funny. So I followed him and basically been watching him like my whole life growing up. So watching him uh, on like YouTube, having a great and amazing time. And then by the time I graduated high school, I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do. But I knew I wanted to make videos. I knew I wanted to play video games. And I knew I wanted to be surrounded by a community of people who loved the things that I loved. And so YouTube was my way to do that. And then when it came time to making up names, I had a bunch of different names at first. Uh, from Real Orlando to Chief Lando, stuff like that. And then when I really started taking YouTube serious and I sat down with myself. And then I really like got my YouTube name. I wanted to pay homage to the person that I have been watched, that I've watched make a career and love for YouTube since I was a kid growing up. And um, that was Corey X. Kinchin. So I decided to put the X in my name to basically pay homage to him, you know, um, 
You know what I'm saying? From when I was a little kid, just, you know, seeing him, you know, around my brother and stuff like that, and, like, thinking those guys were cool and stuff like that, to him telling people in, in school that YouTube was what he was going to do and then doing it and accomplishing it and now hitting six million subs, I mean, it was just, like, watching him, like, yeah, I want to pay homage to him. Corey S. Kenshin is one of the reasons why, like, I feel like I can make it with YouTube in the community that I live in, considering the fact that he went to school <laughs> literally with my brother and I was in middle school and they were there so <clears throat> I um used my first name Orlando and then Corey S. Kenshin got the X I put the X in my name and I said what I want to be I want to be great at whatever it is I do and so thus Orlando X the Great was born and still here strong yeah I met Corey again recently when I was working at Cinemark it was cool to like see him again I totally fanboyed though it was weird because the last time I had seen him I was in like middle school and I don't even think he really remembered me or my brother like that I don't know what but it was um yeah it was just crazy and so Corey is like a, still a motivation to me still when it comes to YouTube you know what I'm saying just I watch all, every single one of his videos I'm glad that he's back um and he's just been inspiration and inspiring me since I was in middle school. So it was amazing to be able to pay homage to him by putting the X in my name um, and then meeting him again at Cinemark. And hopefully after this channel blows up and that I can actually have a conversation with him creator to creator and, you know, just to be in a video with him would be amazing or to do something with him video wise would be just amazing. Like if we were in a stream together or whatever it may be. Um, but yeah, so I gotta I gotta give thanks to Corey S. Kenshin, the Shogun. You feel what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, those are all your guys' questions. I'm actually I'm actually excited that we did this Q and A video. I haven't done a video like this. And if you guys had any other questions that like you didn't even realize that I was doing this, make sure you follow me on Twitter. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and ask me your questions. I always do like questions on Instagram here and there, so you will always be able to jump in there and ask me questions if you guys wanna know anything, or if you guys just have any questions, just comment or message me on those uh, on those other platforms. I usually reply and answer questions like that as well. And plus, we'll have another Q&A once we hit that next that next subscriber goal, which is 100,000. We're gonna reach that, because I'm gonna be more consistent on YouTube, and yeah, y'all, we're gonna go crazy. Um, I'm, I wanna thank y'all so much for even getting getting us here to 20,000 like this is amazing great feeling i mean bless man i'm, I'm so happy to have y'all here i'm grateful for each and every one of y'all and i hope that y'all continue to engage and like the videos and continue to watch and let you guys know you guys can talk man like comment bro let me know if you guys got video suggestions let me know throw them in there i'll check them out if it's something i like i'll make a video on it. if it's something y'all want to know something y'all want to talk about we can do it bro this 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 channel is for all of us, you know. So I just want to have a good time here and meet a lot of people who love the stuff that I love. So uh, yeah, if you have not yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Please ring that bell so you can get notified on every post. And also follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And it has been your boy Orlando X the Great. And until the next video, peace.